Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your location. How are you doing today? This is Pranav from DBS Diary, and uh, I would like to thank first of all all my subscribers and the people who are watching my video. Thanks a lot for uh, subscribing them and watching them and giving your feedback in terms of comments. That really means a lot. And uh, since there was a demand of covering interview question for application, today we are going to cover the questions. And we'll have actually two videos, one for uh, only questions. So I would like to uh, go through the question first. So first, uh, you may also go through the question and see how many of them you can answer. Okay. And then we'll have next video wherein we'll cover the question along with the answers. Okay. So thank you again for tuning in. If you like my channel, please subscribe that. Okay. So that you will, uh, you will be knowing what are other videos I'm covering. Right. And then in terms of uh, feedback, just pass your comments and if, if you want me to cover something else or there is something which I have made mistake because I am also a human being, I am not perfect in everything, right? Uh, and I am also learning, I do not know everything, I am still a student of database administration and I also have uh, experience in other parts like I have, I have been covering SQL Server, Sybase and now even Postgres, okay? So let's start. Uh, so today we will start with the replication server interview questions, okay? So let's see the first question. So the first question is, what is the difference between warm standby and MSA? Okay, warm standby and MSA. So this is the first question. So I want you to just note it down or if you know the answer, then that's really good. So as, as I said earlier, We'll go through the questions first or like uh, there are set of questions. I think it's 18, 19 questions. At the end of it, I have a bonus question as well. So the difference between warm standby and MSA. Okay, let's go to the next question now. Next question is what is DSI threat? This is very straightforward question. It is like definition based question. But the full form of DSI itself will give you the, the hint or the answer like what actually does it do and uh, why it is used. Okay, so what is a DSI thread? So the next question will be, how would you check whether replication is up or down at SRS level, Sybase replication server level? Okay, this is very straightforward command. You can run the command and you can check the status of thread. Is it up or down, suspended or it's uh, no running? So, as I said, I will not uh, specify the answer now. Let's go through the question first. Okay. So, how do you check whether replication is up or down at Sybase replication server? Okay. What is SQM? Okay. If you have been uh, supporting replication, then you know this all things SQM, SQT, DSI. So, I'm just asking the definition of SQM. And if you could explain a little bit in terms of uh, how, you, how you use it, when you use SQM with what is the exact command that would be really appreciated. Okay, so next one is what is SQT? So we covered like DSI, we covered SQM and the next one is SQT. Okay, so if you could give me the command uh, and the usage of uh, SQT, that would be even better. That would be even great. Okay, so let's go to the next question, six number. So what is the use of auto correction at replication definition level? Okay, so when you are defining the replication that time, how can you set the auto correction and what is the use of it and how is it beneficial to you? Has Have you ever used it? Has it been used in your environment? If yes, just give the use case and if not, then you can explain like why it has not been used. Have you ever considered this or it was not you know, considered at all? Okay, so this was sixth question. Now let's move to the next question. So as I mentioned earlier, these are questions, uh, if you know the answers, well and good, okay? If you don't know, just note it down and find the answers or just wait for the next video, we'll cover all the answers, okay? So how will you print configuration details of connection at replication server? So now this one actually, it is at the, at the level of data server and database. You can have multiple, uh, you can have different uh, configuration for one database compared to other database at the same data server okay so we'll cover that so this is like how will you print it so there is a command you can you can use that 
and when should you use it why it is used uh, at which stage you have the need to find this configuration and check like why it is behaving like this this is really good okay so this one is the queue is piling up uh, what would be your approach to check at primary and replication server okay so if queue is piling up the replication is not moving then you have to check right like what is happening so you can either check from the primary server level or you can check at the replication server level like what is actually happening why it is not moving so there are multiple uh, steps there are multiple things that we should check so i want to understand how uh, will be your approach it, it depends on person to person depends on experience to experience but there are certain uh, steps that is common okay so if you could explain that and uh, if you could again you no know, give the use case of, from your environment that would be great okay so eight question done let's move to the ne uh, next question to ninth question so how to check queue usage at replication server now queue usage now in this actually you can explain in terms of thread usage okay like sqt uh, and then also you can explain about the disk usage right so disk usage you can you can uh, uh, know answer in terms of command which is running at the replication level replication server or you can also run the command at the rsst level okay so depending on your experience depending on your use case you can explain this command and why it is used when is it used okay and uh, how will you find out how much uh, how much uh, usage has already been done and how much free space you have okay so let's move to the next question now how would you stop replication server replication agent at primary server or disable it okay suppose there is no need of replication uh, replicating one database uh, any more from you know from from primary to secondary or from primary to reporting server or from primary to some server where we were having setup of msa or setup of warm standby so how will you stop it okay so we need to know lot of steps you will perform so let's move to the next question so how to disable replication from primary so earlier we saw how to stop it okay and this one is like how to disable it okay so let's move to the next question now how to set replication none for all tables at primary server so this will be again depending on the, i mean this will be in the context of database it will not be for all you have to be in that database to run the command and you can set replication none for all tables okay you can also set replication at statement level uh, whether you want that or no you can also set replication none none or all at the procedure level you can also do at the batch level so there are multiple things that we can do so i am asking in this question how to set replication none for all tables irrespective of number of tables all tables to none at primary server so there will not be any replication for any table right okay so next question is how to gather system statistics you may say it is something is something like sysmon okay how to gather sysmon at replication server what is the command that you use and can it be uh, used i mean do you uh, do you know any command which can be used to gather sysmon at the replication server level okay this was 13th question let's move to the 14th question now how to suspend replication of one table from replication server so as i asked before uh, how to suspend replication for all tables in one database what is the command now the next question is how to suspend replication of only one table okay remaining all table will will keep replicating however you want to stop one table from replication how to do that but this will be again in one database right like it will be uh, in the context of database how would you connect to rsst server from replication server without going to rsst i mean there is a command you can use to connect to rsst direct from uh, replication server you don't need to connect to rsst to run the command which you want to run at rsst server right so what is the command to do that this was 15th question now let's move to 16th question so how to troubleshoot latency between primary and secondary server suppose you have a primary server and you have a reporting server now reporting team comes to you and tells you that i i have data which is which is uh, which is old which is outdated which is not having the real time replication so something is wrong 
so which means there is a latency between primary and reporting server or secondary server like we have publisher and then we have subscriber so publisher and subscriber is having latency it is not uh, uh, replicating in the real time so what are things you can check how do you find that out as a dba of replication right let's move to the next question now is there any need of using same password at primary and secondary for replication meant user if you have configured it you know the password whether it should be same or it should be different it could be uh, something totally different at primary and replication server so if you have done so so we need to uh, we need to know and we need to understand that okay did you face any issue if you had different password or you need it to keep it same okay so this is this actually tests or uh, no examines whether you have done the full setup uh, yourself or no okay how to fix data inconsistency between primary and secondary for some reason data has become inconsistent between primary server between uh, like publisher and subscriber okay so how will you fix it so we need to know the set of steps that you need to perform in order to make data consistent between primary and secondary server so this was 18th question so now the last question this is a bonus question how do you display memory statistics okay used overall and in which context or in which uh, segment it has been used uh, of a replication server because sometimes what happens is you have you may have memory leakage at the server level okay but then server admin will tell you no it is not from my side it is not from server side your replication is consuming all the memory okay so we need to you no know, prove them that no we, as far as the replication is concerned we are using only this much so what all command we need to run in order to find out the actual usage of the memory by cybers replication server okay so this is all at uh, all about the questions of cybers replication in the next video we'll cover all the answers one by one okay now answer as i mentioned earlier in my previous interview questions answer can depend on you know from person to person based on experience to experience and environment but uh, as far as commands are concerned most of them will be similar or almost same okay so thank you for tuning in and if you like my channel please subscribe and if you have any any comment any feedback please uh, you know pass them in terms of comment okay so thank you for tuning in have a great day nice day